Well, here we are. It's the end of my work day. Time to go home, four o'clock in the afternoon. And it's finally quiet. Like, eerily quiet. Like, there's the traffic noise out front and everything, but it has been so noisy in here, like, all week. With getting the roof done, it's just been crashing and banging and... I don't know what they're doing up there. I know the first day they were doing some demo and the second day they were doing some demo and yesterday they were laying down some planks and some new uh, decking up on the roof. But then today it's just been like random crashing and banging and guys running around and I, I realize it's a big roof, but I don't know what they're doing up there. It's like they're playing soccer or something or maybe caber toss. I don't know. Highland Games going up up there or something. It's just insane. But all of a sudden, like 10 minutes ago, it just all stopped. So it must have been quitting time. It's quitting time for me too. So I'm heading home. Vanessa's got a workout. Uh, so she'll be going, I think she goes at like 4.30. So... I'll be halfway home and she'll go for her workout and then I think we're uh, I think we're having spaghetti for dinner tonight or pasta of some sort but I don't know what else is going on I was gonna leave well I wanted to leave work early but I didn't um, I wanted to go for a hike again even though I'd probably be better to give my body like a rest for a day uh, but I felt like going for another hike which I was going to do, but then I thought, you know what? I should probably put in a full day at work. Be here for customers. Because we've been closed so long and so often lately because of the rains and because of the damage to the roof and because of Christmas and New Year's. And then we were closed early the last couple of days because of all the banging and stuff falling from the ceiling. So, yeah been a long noisy day but at least I get to go home now I guess even if there's traffic it'll be sort of relaxing to drive so yay thumbs up for driving oh and dead battery it's a good thing I have another one in here so yesterday when I went and uh, hiked in Santan Mountain uh, I had to drive all the way up to the city and then around the mountain and around to the other side basically directly opposite of where I am right now on the way home and I looked on the map last night and there's actually a way you can drive straight through the mountains to get to where I was I don't know how long it would take it is a more direct route but I think most of it is like single dirt road through the mountain which I definitely want to try I don't have the time to do it right now, but I think I'll try it tomorrow. I think that would be fun. I don't think it's like a crazy, like bad road. I think it's just a dirt road. But I think that would be fun to drive through the mountain. Look at this douche nozzle. He's in a real hurry. Everybody along here is going way over the speed limit. So I'm just going with the flow, but he's decided he wants to go even faster so we'll let him I don't know hopefully not kill himself or anybody else but I don't know about these people yeah so I'm going to drive through the mountains tomorrow I think it'll be fun oh yeah and uh, buddy that passed me got him real far he had to cut me off to get back in because he had nowhere to go but He's just been sitting there in front of me because of all the traffic. Nowhere for him to go, but he just had to pass me and cut me off. Brilliant. So there was this video that I saw today on YouTube of all places. Actually, I saw a post, somebody posted it on Facebook, but it was the YouTube link uh, of a girl or a woman that was supposedly drunk and battling a Uber driver and wrecking his car and hitting him and then taking off. 
and the internet has now decided that she is guilty and her life needs to be ruined. Turns out she's a doctor, she's a fourth year resident, and she has since been suspended from her residency. Um, no charges were laid by the police or anything, but the video only shows one side of things. It doesn't show what brought on this behavior of hers, whether she was drunk or not. Um, and I think that's kind of ridiculous. Her Facebook page has since gone, taken, been taken down, and same with her Instagram, and some of the things that people have written online about her are just horrible. I just don't get it. How can people do that to someone? So I came home, Vanessa's still at her workout. I came home to a piece of mail from the city stating that uh, we have a code violation uh, back in the alleyway, back there, beyond that gate. And the only reason I go out that gate is to take the garbage out and put it in the dumpsters that are out in the alleyway. There's also garbage collection out in the road. So I don't know whether we're supposed to have a garbage can that we put on the road or whether we are supposed to use the dumpsters back here, but that's beside the point. I came home to this code violation letter that we are supposed to maintain our alleyway, uh, remove weeds and garbage and everything. We're responsible from our property line to the middle of the alleyway. I just looked back there. There's nothing back there. There are a few weeds that are just a little bit high, like grass. Um, nothing that impedes the uh, alleyway. Um, just around Christmas time or just after Christmas, somebody dumped a bunch of garbage all over the place back there in the alleyway on our side and behind other people's houses. So there was garbage everywhere. It has since been cleaned up. I did not think it was my responsibility to clean up somebody else's garbage, but apparently maybe that was what the violation was. Because so I just went back there now. I can't see anything. I don't see any big weeds. I don't see any rubble. I don't see any garbage. Uh, but they're saying I have 10 days to comply and fix the situation or I will face a fine. Joy. So now I don't have to worry about a uh, homeowners association. I just have to worry about the city going after me for stupid crap. Yeah, I better get on those weeds out front. Okay, I reread the code violation notice, and I think it has to do with our tree. Let's see. It says it has to be no hanging over the fence into the alleyway. There has to be like a 13 foot clearance. Well, I have news for them. That tree has hung over into the alleyway since we moved here. And they're just saying now that we're in violation. Buttheads. <sighs> I guess we gotta get a tree guy out. Wow, that's really impeding. Look. Really? That doesn't impede anything. There's a person down there with a whole tree out in the... And yeah. Man. Oh. Don't go, don't escape. Don't escape. Don't do it. Back in the yard. Don't do it. <gasps> Let's go, come on, back in the yard. <laughs> what? Why are you coming over here to give me kisses? It's a little too late to drive somewhere and go for a walk, so we're going for a family walk around the neighborhood. It'll do us, do us all good. They didn't get to go for a walk yesterday, the puppers, because I did my big hike, and then uh, I didn't get back in time to take them for another walk. Uh, but today, 
we're all going for a walk. Vanessa, Willow, Lucy, and me. And Lucy's super excited. She's crazy. Well, Vanessa just had a leg workout, but she's okay. She can handle a walk, it'll do her good. Let's go to the other side by the school. They do better on that side. Lucy, are you excited because mom is walking with us? Maybe you should walk Lucy. On an orange? Something wrong with that orange. It doesn't look right. It doesn't want to focus either. I got abandoned. Vanessa stole my pupper and went up ahead. Now I'm pupperless. Oh well. Nice little walk though. We made it into a two blocker or four blocker, whatever it is. It's longer than just two blocks. My wife and I are going to dinner and you can't come. So there. See you later. Well, thanks for joining me. Uh, probably not as interesting as yesterday. Just a bunch of randomness. No real storyline or cohesion, but hey, I have a lot like that. But tomorrow's Friday, and that's a good thing. That means the weekend is here, and I uh, can try and do something interesting. I know at least one of the days on the weekend I'm going to get out for a hike. And tomorrow I want to do that drive that I was talking about, so I'm going to give that a shot. Hopefully I don't drive off into oblivion. Alright, so I'll see you Friday. Until then, remember to love yourself. Peace, love, and snuggly pupper dogs.